Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to see if we can automate the um, output of the materials into the uh, squeezer and the industrial, well, the industrial squeezer and the fermenter. First of all we're going to have to look at um, how we're going to do that. So let's start with that one. So what we're going to use is a combination of these which I've got in my hand is the redstone uh, probe connector. That's new in Minecraft 1.12 I believe and the recipe for this is Two panes of glass, one nether quartz, and a redstone wire connector. And the res recipe for the wire connector is basically three electrum nuggets, two terracotta, and one redstone will give four. And the circuit is a little bit more complicated. You need to make that in a engineer's workbench with two vacuum tubes, plate of copper, and some insulating glass, which in itself is hardly enough. Not that it is fairly straightforward. Two pieces of glass of any type, and then some iron grit. And the iron grit can be from uh, Bangladesh Craft or from um, in Immersive Engineering. And then a green die of some description. So that's I'm using cactus die because that's got plenty of that. And that gives us two. So we make these things. And then what you can do with this, you can actually put it onto the connect, the redstone connector here of this machine. So if I right click this onto here like this, you'll see that it's actually it's giving a value. Actually, what, what I want to do with this, I don't want to turn it off. So I'm going to right click this again. So I've inverted the control signal so it's stopped. And this will give me a power. And as you can see on the uh, I one probe window at the top, it says power 14, which means it's not completely full, but it's fairly full. And sure enough, I've got, um, actually that's the wrong place. That's a chest that for output and the input in here is, I've got a shortage of about 10 or something like that. Um, so as you can see, I've got some rotting flesh in here to make leather. Leather comes out in here like that. And of course, blood comes out here, and <laughs> underneath the blood, I've got Harper. I put Harper down here now, so we should be able to see some coagulated blood coming out of that. So, whenever that gets full, it comes out. So, that's what we're going to use on those machines. So, let's take this one off here because I don't need this on this one. And it stays inverted good. I probably don't need as much leather as that. It's a, it's a lot of leather. And then, now what we're going to do with this is we're going to use this on um, extracting hoppers. So what I've got here is a little setup. Basically it's a light, an indicator that's a redstone, and a couple of hoppers to feed it in. Now that's not necessary, but what this is going to be is the output of one of these uh, storage drawers I've got in the, in the jungle base. And this is just a dropper, so I can put two, one beside each other, or one above each other. So we go up here, and what we can do is put the, oops, too far. Let's put one of these uh, extracting hoppers, uh, extracting conveyor belts down here, like that. So when if anything's in this chest like that, it's going to get dropped out. At the moment, I think I've got this. Let's turn this on so it doesn't get dropped out straight away. So let's put in here a couple of cobblestone. I need to get a couple of cobblestone. I must have uh, clicked those off. Let's put into this a, a piece of cobblestone. Like that. And it's staying there because this switch is off. Um, so when I switch this on, it's going to drop out basically. It's going to go into the chest here. It's good. Then it's going to be pulled out with the extracting of it and dropped down. And sure enough, it's dropped down and it should be somewhere. <laughs> Where's it gone to? Is it in the hopper? Ah, it's stuck in the hopper because the hopper's got nowhere to drop it. That's brilliant. Okay, so what you do then is just put, put a um, conveyor belt down. I want to put it the other direction, so I can't do that from here. I have to basically shift it on and then put the hammer. As you see, now it's dropped. So we just drop, turn this around with the hammer a couple of times and then get it back again. Let's do that again, let's turn it off. So we, it's basically, it's only there so you can actually see that it actually goes through. Because when I do this, oops, wrong one. So when it, that's better. So when I'm doing it like that, you can't see. So when I press the button, you can see it's dropped out and it's come out like that. So I'm going to have two extracting hoppers, one on top of each other like this. Um, and then I'm going to turn them off. And I'm going to turn them off with, actually not going to use levers, but we're going to do it in this example like this. So you can't shift click a lever on here. So I can actually stick one on here and then turn that on. And that actually is supposed to stop the belt. It doesn't stop the belt as it happens because it it's actually just stopped the gate. So let's let's prove that. So let's put another piece of 
cobblestone in here should drop out and it gets stuck it doesn't it's in the chest it doesn't come out of the chest yet or the crate in this case so when i release this like that it's then going to drop down and come back now obviously with this block powered here it's going to power that one as well which we don't want but what we're going to use are these redstone connectors from immersive craft uh, immersive engineering so what we do with these let's set them up here's one here so we put one on here like that you can put it on there no problem whatsoever and that, that will work that i've checked and then we can then bring one of these down what i want to do is put one down say here like this so they can actually connect them across like that and then i'm going to use put another one down here like this and i'm going to put a block on it so what we'll put down is a block let's put one of these panel connector blocks from industrial wires because i'm going to use industrial wires in this demonstration as well so let's put down the lever and turn it on so that's then powered so we can put this another connector here like that uh, and then we can connect these three together with some wires let's just do that some redstone wires here so right click that onto there and then i can right click that onto here like that so that this acts as a relay but it also acts as an input and output so this one is blue as you can see in its input when i right click that then it becomes output and orange as a standard colors uh this one wants to be an output channel which as you can see it says it there and this one here also wants to be an output channel so let's make that an output so when i then switch this on like this that light should come on because it's not going to come on because i put it in the wrong place let's just do that again break that off there i get the cables back of course I put it in that way which is what i should have done in the first place I'll just connect those up again like that change this to an output and off we go this video could actually be a, could be quite a long time so right click this now it should be connected on here hmm output channel white output channel white input but that should give tell me the power it's not telling me power why not tell you what i'll figure this out and come back in a second well i'll just swap the lot for some cobblestone it seems to work turn it off goes off turn it on it goes on so when that's on this should still be stopped so let's just test that again so now i've got nothing in this chest here let's put some cobblestone in it a couple of pieces that and it's not coming out as you see because the light's on let's turn that on and the two drop the two uh, cobblestone just dropped out like that so i don't know what why well, i must have been just unlucky picking that block never mind so the next thing is what we want to do is we want to be able to read the inventory so we're going to use one of these these probes for that so i'm going to remove this hopper because we don't need the hopper at the moment and remove this lever like that because we don't need this lever what i could do is put the lever on on here of course turn it on and that that guarantees when this is going to work but we know that's working already so let's just knock that off that i don't need a tool for that do i like that and then put onto this the probe so if you look at the end of this probe here, it should tell you that oh of course it's nothing in there at the moment is there let's put some cobblestone in there one piece of cobblestone and it went out because that's off of course let's turn it on pick up the cobblestone and do that again ha and this time it's staying in so that's staying in and here it's got a power now of one so it's telling us we've got one redstone so it means we've got something in the inventory so what i'm going to do is all i'm going to do is basically connect this probe from the fermenter into one of these wires here like this into one of these droppers and then when it's got nothing in it, it's going to just basically pull it out so that's the first part of the, of the exercise now the next part of the exercise i would like to do it in a pretty way so what i got with me well let me be able to monitor is a, is a control panel from in, industrial wires now these industrial wire stuff is pretty actually quite neat you can basically control panels let's put that down like this let's let's put this control panel into it uh, it's a bit now let's put this control panel down first of all like 
I can't do it there, of course. I have to move this out of the way. And I'm going to pick up the, <laughs> I'm pick up the cobblestone that came out. <laughs> and as you can see here, I've got a control panel. So it's got a fermenter, a refinery, and a squeezer. Not very exciting, are they? But let's look how I did that, first of all. So let's take this one, and I'm going to disassemble it to get the parts back. Unfortunately, I don't get the control panel back. And these control panels, the recipe for that is basically six pieces of iron and one and a half pieces of copper. So it's, eh, it's fairly expensive. And then the controls that go on it are actually not too bad because you do get the controls back again, so that's fine. So let's go back into here and then put into this the panel and then disassemble the panel like this. So you get all the bits back, but you lose the, the panels. <laughs> that's a bit of a shame it doesn't come back again. I think that's a bug, actually. So what we're going to do is have a look at this now. So with these panels, in fact, let's take this panel out here. First of all, we need to go, we can tweak these panels. So we can tweak the height of it. We can take, tweak the angle of it and stuff like that. So let's take this, remove this from here. Oh, I've got to remove that out of the way, first of all. Remove this from here because I was making stuff and put the unfinished control panel into here and then we can increase its height let's make it say 75% of a block and then we can increase its angle in fact you can't quite see it so let's get rid of this stuff um, control O would do wouldn't it there we go so you can sort of see it being drawn on this on this thing here as you move the angles you can see it changing like that that's the face. Change the angle to 100%, you get that sort of design. So let's take this out of here. And then we can use this. Well, we can put this down now. Let's look at this, put this down. And that's what it's going to look like. So it's a bit high and it's got a little angle on it. So that's quite nice for a start. Quite like that. So now we've got these components. We'll have a look at all the component recipes just one after the other when we, we come to do this. So here is inputs. I'm using these as basically, let's take it off here. In fact, I'm gonna to have to empty my inventory out in a second. I'll come back in a second when I've emptied my inventory out. So I've emptied my inventory out and I've got the different components that I've basically been using. So here we've got an indicator light. Um, let's start with that one, because that's at the top there. And that's the ref, uh, Design for that is basically one piece of copper, one ghost and redstone. Not too bad. So what you do with these is you can take them off here like this. And when you've got one, let's just take one out of here like that. You can right click this in the air like this. And then it tells you what it's got. So it's got different redstone channels down here. Standard ones that it happens. They're fairly, fairly normal from the different bits. And then you can select its channel. So default is white, which is pretty well the default. Of it. Let's just change that to yellow. You can also color it. So yellow is probably a lot of blue and a green, I think. Uh, red, maybe red as well. No, that'll give me, you know, I'm not sure what color yellow is. So look, that's, that's cyan. <laughs> maybe it's red and that's magenta. I don't remember what it is. Let's try red and green. No, without blue, maybe that's, oh, I can see on here, look. Oh, that's a yellow. So red and green gives you yellow. So we can then put this one onto here like this. And you've got different modes to put stuff on. So you can just click it on here. And the default is allow free placing of components. You can click it and you get snap to grid. So it then snaps to grid. But in fact, the best one to use, I think, is this one, snap to other components. So you can then center this like this. And you have to go one more that, and then it's directly sort of supposed to be dead in line. It doesn't look quite like in dead in line, does it? But it's supposed to be in line with those three there. So that's that done. So you can then take your, I'm going to take an unfinished flat one here because when I finish that, and we need to put this one back as well. We'll put this one back and that sits in the middle of that one there. And the middle of this one there. Doesn't quite look right, does it? I'm not quite sure how he does the positioning, but yeah, there, top, how about that? And then middle, fine, good. So that's actually in the right place. This one doesn't look right. Let's go and try that out again. That'll do actually, because that's the left hand edges of those. So you can then line it up better. So this, if you remember rightly, was on the yellow channel. So it's a yellow indicator light. 
So that'll do. Let's put this down like this. And then we can put this down. And then we need to put a block beside this. I'm going to have to go back a little bit more further. In fact, I don't need this at the moment. We can remove this altogether. Let's do that. Because there are other components in this in this pack. Well, we've got a panel connector. So let's put the... Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't create the panel, did I? Where's it gone to? Let's put it back and create the panel. So now it's written to this thing. That's a bit tough, isn't it? All right, so we can put this down like this. doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it in the middle of these two like that. And as you can see, that's the yellow indicator light that's on the yellow channel. So let's put down beside that now a, a panel connector. The recipes for these, I think I've covered the recipe for that one. The recipe for this one is four pieces of redstone uh, on top around a, or in a plus shape around the control panel. And you get four, so it's one per redstone. You put this down, and you have to put one of these down. It says in this video you don't have to, but you do have to put it down. And then you've got the redstone controller. So you can put this down there. And that basically links these two components together. So now what we can do with this is we can take this, like this, and we can shift right click it, and we can then connect that to something. We can, it doesn't matter which one we connect it to, I think this one will be the best. So you have to shift right click that to connect, to, to attach the wire. And then we can attach the wire from here to here, like that. Oops, another wire I need, of course. Went down, didn't. Have I put all of them away? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. Phew. So you right click this one and get to that, and that should link onto that, like that. So they're all coming from that one. You can't attach multiple wires onto this one. So I can't shift right click it again because it says you can't do it. So now we have got, as an as an, uh, a line here, we've got a yellow channel, haven't we? Let's just do this. Let's put another one, a block down here, another connector down here, like this. And put beside that a lever. I put the levers away too, haven't I? Oh, haven't they here? Hidden. Hidden, hidden behind the number 14, right? Okay, let's put this down like this. And then we can. Turn that on, and that will give us a power. It doesn't show you power yet until we actually connect it up. So let's just connect it up like that. And you see this lights come on because it's on the same channel. So what we're now going to do is we're going to right click this. This one is on actually on input mode. So we want, yeah, that's right, because we're inputting the signal, aren't we? So we right click this and it takes it to output mode, which we don't want. We actually want input mode, but we want to change the color. So we shift right click it until we get to yellow, which is one after blue, like that. So that now indicates this light here, as you can see. Turn that off again, and it goes off. In fact, it would have been better if I'd moved the switch a bit, but it doesn't matter very much, does it? Let's put the lever down here, like that. And then maybe I can reach both at the same time. Yeah. No, not really. You can't see both, but never mind. I think I can't reach it from here. No, too far away. But you see that's now linked to that channel right so what we can then do of course is we can have this can go to one channel here so at the moment it's it's as if we get the hammer and it tells you what it's connecting to so it says the source is the white channel here i'm going to send change the sending channel to being yellow and i think i have to shift right click it now that's orange um right click it so it's just a right click it changes it to orange now orange should be the first one of these panels on here i think it's the fermenter i think it's the fermenter it should have come up actually or maybe there's nothing in the chest ha oh, helps doesn't it let's put something in the chest um of course it's turning everything off so let's put a lever on here and stop it quickly like that because I've got that far yet and of course the chest is now or crates now oh it's not quite empty let's just stick some more stuff on it so that gives me a power of one so that power of one should be coming down through here and connecting into here and I don't see it <laughs> tell you what let's just change have a look at this panel again let's break it let's lift it up 
let's put it back into here and then disassemble it so that should have been on this one let's take it out here oh that's white okay so we have to every time we come to this you have to change it this so even if you open and close it it's uh, that'll do just fine so the orange one probably was the refinery it didn't seem to be very bright as it happens let's just take that one off and right click it in here yeah that's orange so it should have lit the middle one i think it did as it happens i just didn't see it let's put this one back again of course let's change this i think i might have to request a change for that one because <laughs> it's really irritating that'll do so that's now orange light okay let's put another panel in here and create this again and put this back down here oh yes you can see it's actually you see that it's actually lit up a little bit here it actually looks as though it's actually it's representing the light so let's change this again let's make this the next color along which in fact is um orange magenta and that should light up this one here as it, yes because i've got orange so that was white orange and magenta and that's now got a value of one which is the same value as the output power of here and da -da, doesn't yes it does should tell me somewhere why does it, it doesn't tell me because at the moment it should tell me here that i've got an output value of one because i've got items in this in this chest hmm interesting so that is basically how we're going to do it. So what I'm doing, thinking about here is, oh, it's got an actual value of two because they put a few more items in there. So that's how we're going to control it. So let's go to the other base now. I'll break this all down and I'll see you in a few minutes when I'm there. So now we're here. Uh, done a little bit of preparation. So let's put on, for example, onto this refinery, one of these probes like this. Um, it doesn't tell me what the what, what the output power is there, but there should be something because it will tell me what the capacity of this is. For example, in this one here, if we right click this, it's full. It's not got full of liquid, but it's full, probably turned off uh, because of this redstone thing. I've got, it says max power 15, which is correct. It's, it's full up. The refinery itself is also full, like, oh, should, I guess it's full because of the biodiesel. And the fermenter, let's look at what the fermenter says, 14. So it's not completely full of apples. Yeah, there's a few there's a few short of apples in here. What I've done to stop everything moving around is I just put a lever over there and it's blocking everything coming in. So I've got a better chance to move everything around. So what I'm going to do is take these... I'm going to leave this one as it is because that's uh, industrial fire, but we don't need that at all in this process we just need these two so let's just wrap these two up here like that and then break them away i think i've got my axe when they good so let's just knock these off but don't drop the contents of those. there's a lot of contents in those and i'm going to put them over here on top of this like this so i will we'll get some scaffolding out here so we can climb up a bit right so what i'm going to do they're so going to split the inputs i'm going to take the input out of here and i'm going to feed it into this um controller draw controller here like this so we'll do that first of all break this one away should be fine i think it's fine in this position like that and then we're going to put the controller down and i think actually i might even need a secondary controller it doesn't matter if i do i'll just go and get another one so let's just, I think I've got to do it from the direction I wanted to feed it into. So let's just get up here and press, oops, missed. <laughs> Try again. I want to get onto this one over here. So if I press shift, can I jump with pressing shift? Yeah, I can, good. So I'm holding that shift here and I want to put it on this block here facing me like that. So everything should go into that. I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll find out. So then we're gonna have put two, um, drawers it doesn't matter which drawers we're going to put them in to connect to both so we need one drawer here where are they going to it like this and one below it so i don't need this this drawer or these two 
these two conveyor belts here. Let's remove these. So we can put the two storage drawers here like that. One there for apples and then one for, for the... Um, can't remember where they are. <laughs> Industrial hemp seeds like that. And then we're going to put onto the outside of these, these extracting conveyor belts. So let's get the extracting conveyor belts out. You know, I've not done this. So if, it, if, I'm, if I botch it up, I botch it up. Well, we'll see. So I think I should be able to click it like that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, I should put a lever down first of all, shouldn't I? Let's put a lever down quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to be picking up that stuff forever. I will do the same on this one over like that. The next one will be up here, so I'll put a lever down like that. Before we've connected everything up, it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. So let's now put the next one onto here like that. And now this is more difficult. So what I want to do is let's put down a conveyor belt to start with. And it'll go in the wrong direction, as you can see. So we'll just take the hammer and turn it around twice. Right click it twice so it goes in that direction. So now we can then put the extracting uh, conveyor belt here and it'll extract it out. And then we want these items to drop down. So what we just use is a hopper for that. I, can, I think I can let them just drop to be honest with you, but hoppers are safer. Let's just put a hopper pointing down onto that like that. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Just due to the positions. So now if I release this have I got any magnetic arm yes I have let's just remove this I'm dressed up in my Faraday uh, armor at the moment so if I just release this one we should see apples uh, getting picked up on me brilliant <laughs> I need to be further away let's just go a little bit further away wrong one of course it would be inevitable I'd press the wrong button that one All right so I should be able to do it from here let's have a look yeah, sure enough they're going through and they're dropping down fantastic so that's that part of it done the next part is to basically cable it up maybe fun because <laughs> i'm looking at these things going oh dear i don't know how i'm going to cable all this up we'll find out that's going to release those which is not really what i want to do yet let's just put down the connector here and the connector here like that and then put on on the ceiling like this i hope i can redo all of this it's a, as I said, it's, uh, I've got enough bits to do some more cables, but I haven't got enough bits to do some anything else. Let's just connect these two into here like that. And these are both outputs, of course. Let's just make sure they're outputs. Like that. So I'm picking up the apples as soon as I get near there. And they're going around like this. And hopefully, I'll get out of the way. They should go out and they should come into this and get a, and come back up again. Yes, they are, look. Let's just turn this off and then we should see everything going up. So the way the idea is, let's turn it off like this. Put left, just left that on, shouldn't I? You'll see they're now coming, they're increasing, great. So with the mechanisms in place, all we have to do now is to connect everything together. So let's just let those go through. Well, actually, what I could do, of course, is to get rid of the stuff I've got on my inventory, jump down here, because nothing should be coming out here yet. So what we need to do with this is to connect this one up here. Fortunately, they're underneath the conveyor belt, which might make life a bit more difficult. So what are we going to do? I'm going to take a wire from there, but let's, I suspect I'm going for connectors. Didn't think about this when I was there. I do apologize. Another. I'll have to go make some more of these things. So this should connect in, and I reckon that the range of redstone is probably the same range as um, uh, normal LV or MV wire. Oh no, let me do that one, good. Um, so all we need to do then is then connect this one across into that. So look, I think I'm going to have to put another connector over here somewhere. So I can get past. Like that. And then connect this to this one. Yes, good. It might be longer anyway it's connected so now this one is connected to there so all we have to do is then set the colors now this one is the squeezer now cut squeezer color do you know i've already forgotten what the color squeezer was but i can tell from here 
let's put the let's put the panel back in here. Um, no, let's put it down like this. So the squeezer is uh, the second one. So that must be. So it goes white, orange, and I've forgotten the next one. But it doesn't matter much. We can do it from here. Look, stand on that, and then we say on this one. So it is sending channel is orange magenta. That's right. So this is a magenta one. We don't care about this. It's just acting as a relay, so we can run the wires around here. The one that is important is this one here. It wants to be an output, and it wants to be magenta. So right click. Oh, sorry. Shift right click it, and it went round. Double clicked it, didn't it? There we are. So that's mid no purple. Have to go back to white, black, so and then it goes white, orange, magenta. So that's an output. So in other words, this will stop whenever this has got anything in it. I really want to do it a little bit differently, don't I? I want to stop it when it's got a certain amount in there. Well, that will, it doesn't matter for the time being. Well, because they get released and they, they come out in here like that. So that should now work. Let's test it out. remove this I'll turn off the lever or remove the lever if I turn it off actually it acts as an or anyway doesn't it so just turn it off and sure enough this is not coming out of here because this must have a power I wonder if I can actually measure the power it normally tells you what the power is but I have to go to the other side to find out what the power is should have been 14 anyway nothing's coming out which is great so this we could do the same with this one so that's white that comes up here and I'm gonna to have to go and get some more connectors I think I need them let's have a look let's have a look at this one because this has got a recipe that one oh electrum and terracotta I haven't got any electrum and terracotta so I'll go back and I get some more um, components and I'll be back in a few, few seconds right so I've connected everything up like that so basically these going out of here I could just linked onto the ceiling here and they go across to the uh, around here to connect to this one which will then connect to all of those and all I need to do is connect the control panel up to this so let's do that as well so I need the block the panel connector put the panel connector down and then we can put onto that the, the control panel that we've created which is this one uh, which is this one here I need the connector don't I this one the redstone controller now these do actually have two different uses and I didn't show you the, f the other one it's basically you've got a channel here if you right click it it gives you this channel ID which basically controls which controller you're talking to so you can have multiple controllers um, which talk to the different devices so what I'm gonna have to do with this one is possibly put another connector up here do it straight over over my head study is probably the easiest thing to do and then we can connect those two together so we can right click that one and shift right click this one what did it just say <laughs> oh, it did connect <laughs> so it didn't say it didn't connect anyway so we then connect this one across from here over to this one here it doesn't matter which one we do it the nearest one I guess is probably the, the neatest and as you can see here we've got two, two letters already in indicated so we've got the fermenter which is giving me an f value and the squeezer which is also giving me an f value which basically means they're full let's go and check that yeah, that is full 64 64 64 and that's got 50 it should have a 15 oh yes it there tells me power 15 okay so that's sending on the receiving we're not receiving yet but we could control that as well um, at the moment I don't think I need to all I really want to do is stop the bits floating around because every time you walk past you're picking up bits like that and this one over here which I can't get to at the moment it's just, uh, I'll leave that there and go around the other side it's also got a power of 15 and let's have a look at this one and this is also full of apples fantastic so the next one to do is this one here I didn't um, set up an output value on this, did I? So let's right click this one. So we want this one on the orange channel as an output. And that should come in here as a 
as an indication. Hmm. I haven't done that yet, have I? The other one I want to connect up is a generator. So at the moment the generator is on, but it's not processing anything. So let's do that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't need a controller on this, do I? So let's just remove this. All I need is a connector. Okay, so it's actually running. <laughs> okay, let's connect it up like that. And then take this wire up to the ceiling again like this. God, I need a lot of connectors, don't we? Take this up to there like that. And then we can connect this one across onto this one as well. Let's connect that one onto here. Like that. So this one's on the on the mid. Uh, I need to change it. This is an input one, which is wrong. We need this to be an output. And it's on the cha white channel, because of course the white channel's got a value here. Um, the generator button's actually off. I didn't show you the buttons yet, did I? So let's right click this now. So we actually want this on the on the cyan channel, I think. Oops, shift right click it. Light blue channel. There we go. So we want that as an output. And as you can see, right click it, now it turns it off. So that power, that signal is now on, which turns this off. It's probably, probably the wrong way around. I think I can shift right click this, um, right click it, yeah, inverted. So that means it's on, and then it's off. So there we are, that's automated. Now let's have a look at those, those buttons and other controls that we've got in it in this wiring system. So now I, what I can do is I can turn the generator on and off as I want to from here. This is an indicator light that I'm not using anymore because I just did that, but the refinery doesn't seem to be connected. And I'm, maybe I've got that wrong. Not inverted, we don't want it inverted. We want to have a look at this one in here. And it's certainly not full anymore. Uh, these two should in fact be be on and they should be working. This is producing fluid. Good. And this one should also be fluid. It's actually full, but it's got no fluid in it. Have I got that inverted? Let's just make sure I haven't got that inverted. I think I had it inverted before. So it's not inverted. Oh, of course, yes. I've got the white channel as a receiving channel, which I don't want. So let's just right the click off the, the white to be something completely different. Magenta will do f not fine. So if we go to, let's go to lime. Oh yeah, it does show you the difference. I didn't see that before. So that should now be working if it's not inverted. Let's right click that because I think I inverted it, not inverted exactly. Um, confused. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be working, and it's not inverted. This never filled up either. That was also something slightly strange. Uh, I don't have any buckets with me today. And this one is this working or not? That's got full power, but it's not. Uh, oh, maybe it's run out of power. That could be a possibility, couldn't it? So let's shift right click this. So we go off the white channel. So we had lime and then pink. Doesn't look very pink, but there we are. So that one is inverted. I don't want it. I think it's full, so it doesn't need to produce any fluid. That's right. And this one, we take it off the, let's make sure that we don't have the receiving channel on that. Let's make the next one gray. So it doesn't not to run. Anyway, it's power is, is fine. But this one, have I lost the power connector on this? Ah, uh, yes, I have. Look, I have probably knocked off the cable. Either that or the pollution did it, one or the other. So let's get another MV cable out fix this thing up well wow. it certainly is a bit of a pain with the um, MV cables as it's out of the, these cables because they don't work maybe I've crossed it it's either I've crossed it and it won't connect or one or the other let's have a look 
Oh yes, it's possibly I've dropped this one off too, but I haven't picked up any bits. Tell you what, if I have doing that, then they won't have despawned yet. I suspect I can't do it this way, huh? Let's see if we can connect this wire to this. It's not a big problem for doing. I'll try again. So that hasn't. I suspect pollution has been knocking this off as it happens. Let's just. Because I didn't have that one. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Pollution will knock the cables off, and that's. I've got to be honest with you. It's not realistic, but it's because it's a real pain. It's a real pain. You've got to keep going the wires. Of course, they've spawned because they've dropped, haven't they? So I want to connect this one up to that one, don't I? Hopefully I can. If not, I'm going to have to be careful with doing some wire routing around the back of these, I guess. Oh, it hasn't broken anything. That's good. So let's have a look at this now. So it's not doing anything, probably because I've messed around with this one. Let's just make sure that that's not inverted as it should be. And sure enough, it's working. So now there should be a lower a lower power out of this one when I get the hammer. You have to have the hammer on to it. It should tell us. Nope, it's not telling me anything. But sure enough, it's working, as you can see. So this won't be outputting anything yet until this gets to being empty. I don't know how to make it so that I can control this using this technology anyway. Um, I can't really see it there, can we? Let's go for that one. Oh, but I might as well turn this back on as well, by the, by the way. Let me get out past here. Oh, this hopper. I probably ought to do something with this hopper as well. don't need it in there. Let's turn this back on. I'll stand out of the way so those items get picked up. Yeah, I picked up some seeds. Um, uh -huh. I want to stand here, don't I? Right, good. So they're going to go through here, and they're going to come over to here, and as soon as these go down to zero. Now, what I want to be able to do is really say, um, when this goes to, say, one, power of one, that's how I'd actually like to do this. Now, I don't think you can do it with immersive engineering, so maybe I have to come do some automated redstone. Well, that's it for this episode. A little bit more complicated than I'd like to, but it's not actually that bad when you see. Uh, you can see the wires now, how they're dangling around, can you? Um, and I hope I explained it reasonably well. Anyway, until next time, when I shall think about um, maybe doing a little bit more of immerse, uh, industrial wires, because I didn't really cover that very much, only a bit. And I didn't show you any of the other components. So until then, bye for now.